Okay. When we last left off, you guys had been to the cap to the the city of Namu to escape the uh, the empire's uh, hunting of you. You guys arrived at Namu, and through the effort, uh, or through, oh, excuse me. Through some adventures and some exploring, you made your way to the Underdark. You made your way back up to find the city practically deserted. All the giants had gone crazy. You made your way to the, the center of the city. Where you found three members of the Empire and an orb. You were able to destroy the orb. Freeing the giants... <laughs> And returning something of normality to the to the city. You were thanked and congratulated. You were paid a healthy sum. And then we fucked bitches and got money. And then you fucked bitches and got money. You got money, I don't know about the fucking bitches part. At the same damn time. You guys were also invited, and I messed up when I said this, when you guys were invited by the Emperor, I meant the King of the Giants. Not the Emperor of the evil comments. Yeah. I messed that up. I, I, I was not thinking right. But you were invited to the capital city of Viet, which is the continent you're on now, the giant continent, to have... Um, you were invited to have an audience with the king. All right. And that's where we left off. And also, you guys have decided that you would like to go back to one character each instead of two characters each, which is perfectly fine. Yeah. So, you guys are in the city of Namu. I'd I'd probably say you guys have rested because you went and freed the giants at night. So you probably came back to your safe house or brothel or <sighs> inn, whatever you decided, and you stayed the night. So you all get a full rest. Uh, your compatriots say their goodbyes and they go back to working with Grangle. And it's just you three now. Igneal, Vaughn, and Rain. Dirk here went back to work with his yes, guy, too. Yes, Dirk here went to go back with his guy. Four of us. Yeah. I'm getting tired of you forgetting my brother. I was going to say long. <laughs> I'm watching you, DM. <laughs> so, you guys have been invited. Um, it was recommended that if you do decide to travel to the capital, you should hitch a ride with a caravan because they know the so way. So walk on foot. There, yes, there are no... The giants, since they're giants, traveling on foot isn't as bad for them. Yep. They don't have trains. I'm just gonna, they don't have I'm on the giant's back. I'm gonna piggyback all the way there. That's my plan. But it was recommended that you join up with a caravan. You can you can join up as guards and get paid, or you can just hitch a ride Ooh, with a caravan. I like getting paid. I think we should yeah. get paid. All right. Yeah, I agree. Okay. All right. So, did we get any information on where, how to find a caravan to guard? Easily enough, you can ask around, and people point you in the direction. I start just going and asking people, like, "Where's the nearest caravan?" At, okay, roll an investigation check. All right. Where's my dice at? Fuck. And I got my fucking table all crowded with water bottles. That's great. Hold on. I'm a dirty boy. Hold on. And my fucking headset has to be charged, so this is limiting my mobility. Hold on. Is there anything? Well, Mindy is asking about caravans. Is there anything you guys would like to do? Uh, me. I already did. I already did like what I wanted to do, which was see if I can help them find a way to prevent this. Also, um, before leap, before their care. I got a twelve. Back. <laughs> okay. I gave them. Um, I gave them money for special com links. Who'd you give money to? Their Um. 
Okay. With a I took all chairs. I stole it from it. <laughs> it should be eventually, um... Should eventually come in by the time we get to the, uh, main city. Okay, just mark off how much it cost. And... Oh, I already did. Oh, you already did? Okay, good. Well, so... Well, long while ago. Uh, Before Drea left, she turned into the ice dragon for me, and we had the, the sex. <laughs> you keep thinking that, Miney. Yep. Yeah. Okay. With the 12, you ask a couple people. Some of the giants give you a cold shoulder. Some of the humanoids kind of look at you confused. And eventually you do find a, a kindly old gentleman who says, Oh, of, co of course, the caravans. And he says, they congregate in this part of the city. And he points you in the direction of the merchant's side. Are we all good to go? Do we want to hit anything before we leave? Um, there's, uh, nothing, there's no real good stores in particular over here. Yeah, they're pretty pretty ass uh, magic stores yeah. here. Would, uh, I agree. I guess a question for the DM would be, would I expect for the weapon store, the magic store, to have anything new? Since this... <laughs> you know what? Don't you sit up here? Um, you won't, you, from the time you've been there, you get the feeling that they haven't really had a chance to restock, especially since all that happened with the giants. So you can kind of surmise they probably don't have anything new. All right, then, no, I mean, hey, we've, we've done everything we could for this town. Let's go ahead and head out of here. Okay, so you guys make your way to the merchant side of the city. Um, it's called the Gold District because of all the gold that exchanges. You guys ask around, and you eventually find a caravan that's departing relatively soon and is looking to hire guards. Uh, you write, You eventually are introduced to a man named Archer I, uh, Monroe. I'd like to do the talking for us, please. Um, we're looking for uh, some travel, but we also would wouldn't mind escorting you. We're we're pretty solid guards. Um, you know, I can I can cast uh, four fireballs, so you know that, that's pretty powerful. We for actually just saved rest. all your lives. Just yeah, saying. we we did just save everyone's life here in the city <laughs> too. So. Um, Archer is a halfling. He looks maybe in his mid sixties. He's old, but he's got some scars. Well, and some we saved all hair. the giants' lives, but those giants' lives being saved saved your life because they would have probably swished you. He kind of looks at you and scratches his chin, and says, "We are looking for guards, and you do seem capable." God damn. Yes, four fireballs. Yes, four I'm fireballs. A healer. I've seen it. He goes, we could hire you for 100 gold for each week. That, I, I, is that good, guys? I don't, I don't know. How long is the trip going <laughs> to take? The trip is two weeks. Oh, so 200 gold for two weeks. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Hey, as long as all four of us are, are getting our money's worth. If there's uh, any action, um, is, is there more? That's for a person, right? That's per person, yes. Each person. Oh, is yeah, per person. okay, that's yeah. a lot better. That sounds... I'm, I'm okay with that. It's not for all four um, of you. I thought it was for all four of us. Oh, yeah, for all four of us. I got a I'd like to be provided <laughs> with rations for food. Because we've got Just, plenty uh, of food. eat. Yeah. Okay, then. I'm solid. He goes, excellent. Yeah. We depart in... I want gold. Roughly... We leave in roughly or a magic day. Items. So if there's any supplies you'd like to get yourself, I'd gather them now. And then meet us back here. And you kind of see so a day, a day, yeah. So yeah. tomorrow, Logan. Um, so what you're yeah. saying is I have time to steal things. I yep, guess. he is. Yes, I, I didn't say that to him. Will, will you allow me uh, to, I guess, to keep from having to say it every day? Can I go ahead and cut my own hand for fresh blood for my spells? Uh, I guess you can. Or cut somebody else. All if right. you want to cut somebody else, you can, but you can also cut yourself. I think you should cut yourself. <laughs> You like that shit? You fucking like that shit? Alright, so, um, I mean... Can I watch? I think I'm still pretty good on, on the food rations. Um, I got a fresh... I have no, I have no idea if I'm good on food rations. I just, I don't know how long food lasts well, in this game. Well, simple... <laughs> and I haven't simple, used any. <laughs> you guys know I can create food and water, right? Okay, I'll, well, I'll eat all of your food and water that you create I don't think my kids have eaten food since we started this campaign. No, you have. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've been expending, I've been expending one spell... My one spell slot per day. Manny's okay. kept us alive. In a Manny's kept us alive. 
Literally. Thank you, Manny. In our sleep, he just walks I, over and just presses food in our mouth. I, I don't it just makes he forms some sort of like it. baby bottle for us while we're sleeping. He just Helpful fucking suckle. feeds us. It's good. Yes, it's okay. <laughs> I will keep you alive. I will fill you with nutrition. Pretty much, honestly. I flip Manny a gold coin every day for the sustenance. I didn't even notice. Well, okay. look at this. All right, we're ready. Sorry, Logan. You're fine. It's fine. So basically, I'll say the day passes. You guys, you don't need, you don't really need supplies. You've already got the crate, food and water, and whatever he had. He's providing supplies for you. It's part of the pay. Awesome. So the next day comes. You gather up in your meeting spot. You see that he has two carriages, or I'm sorry, two covered wagons. There are... What? There are... Hold on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven... Did we level up last time? Yes, you're level eight. Well, okay, we're level eight. All right. I don't know if I did my roll, though. You can do it now while I'm talking. But there are... There are nine people. It looks like himself... Uh, what looks to be his wife and child... A gold dragonborn, an elf who looks rather portly, uh, two tieflings, a human, an older human, and then uh, a blonde-haired woman who looks like she's trying to keep kind of herself away from everybody else. Oh, I can cast five fireballs, sir. I lied. <laughs> five fire. Because they forgot he can level up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Archer sees you guys approach, and he kind of throws his arms up and says, Ah, our guards have arrived. He goes, Allow me to introduce you to our navigator. And he points to the gold dragonborn. And he says, This is uh, Sin Vikna. He is our uh, guide. He's taken this journey many times. And he is gratefully going to lead us to the capital city. It's a pleasure to meet you. I already forgot your name. Yeah, what, what, what is uh, your name again? So I may write it down. <laughs> Which one? The leader or the navigator? Navigator. The leader. Oh. The leader is Archer Monlo, and the navigator is Sin Vikna. Writing cuss words over here. Nice to meet you, man. He he kind he kind of just bows and uh, goes back to looking at his maps. So where are we going? Uh, I want to go ahead and take a look at the map while he's going through and just ask ask him about the route. He goes well. So the safest route. We start going through the diamond fields, then we pass through the tall woods. We make a pit stop in the town of Flipra. And then finally... Flipra? Flipra. Okay. And then we finally... We go around the Lake of Opal along the shore. Alright. Um, are any of these places... I mean, should, should we be expecting to meet any enemies or resistance in any of these, uh, these locations? Uh, through the Diamond Fields, I don't expect much resistance. It's... There's nothing. There's nothing out there. There's no. It's mostly just tall grass. Nothing lives out there except for grazing animals. We might encounter some fights in the tall woods. It's less hospitable, but if we stick to the route, we should be fine. And then finally, the going along the lake can be dangerous at times, but we can't cross it. We have to go around. Why can't we cross it? There's no bridges. There's no boats. It's. Not as developed. How far gotcha, is the gotcha. water across? Uh, it's about a mile across. Alright. Never mind, I don't even have water walk anyways. Okay. He, uh, Archer comes up and says, If you all are ready, uh, we depart, well now, you can climb up in the wagons and we'll be off. Alright, I'm ready. 
I'm ready. I'll right. climb into the wagon. Okay. Let's go. Okay. So you guys... You guys get on the wagons. Uh, there's two. Everybody kind of squeezes into them. The archer and his family is in the front with the navigator. Uh, and uh, in your wagon, you're with the other seven, or other six people. The, it looks like they're just tagging along and the, uh, the portly-looking elf. Um, it's it's kind of cramped in your wagon because they got a lot of supplies, cooking supplies, uh, bed rolls and stuff like Ooh. that. So it's kind of cramped. If you'd like, you can walk along the side. Walk along the side of the cart? Yes. I'm not fucking walking now. I'm good. I'll walk along the side of it. Okay. Yeah, I too am lazy. I'll make a long walk, though. He doesn't get tired. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, show forth, man. Like, Oh, God. No. Got to me you gotta show obedience. It makes it look like there's a lot more of us out there. It's yeah. really just my lazy. Oh, I got what you're saying. Okay. Sure. <laughs> yeah, sure, of course. And okay. have... <laughs> You guys start your journey. The first leg of it is just getting to the diamond field. It takes about half a day. Um, as you're going, uh, there's a gentleman in there playing an instrument, and he he's playing it pretty well. And he keeps kind of keeps kind of looking at you guys curiously. And then he goes back to his instrument. What Mike did? Can we tell why? Huh? Say I'm again. not. Can we tell why he's looking at us curiously? Uh, you can ask him, but just well, make an insight check. Yeah, that's what I was kind of wanting to do. Is he only looking at them or me? Nineteen as well. Uh, he can't. He's looking at them because they're in the cart. He can't see you through the. Um, oh, okay, open. okay. I don't know anything With, about that. I rolled a right. nineteen. Logan. With the nineteen, you get the idea that he's not suspicious of you. He's just interested in these heavily, you know, kitted up adventurers. Gotcha. Uh, one of the other gentlemen's the human. He kinda... I, I, I break out in song just to kind of go with the, the tune he's singing or he's playing. Make a performance check. <laughs> exactly. Make a performance check. <laughs> oh, shit. A one. <laughs> 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 That's the voice you... of an angel. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I am a steak person. I am not very much of a band culture. You, <laughs> yes, you start to sing, <laughs> and his guitar. You hear him kind of like, kind of the bring. guitar kind of yeah. Bring. He like looks at you. He gives you this weird look. Like what the hell are you doing? I lean back. I kind of lay down in the in the car. I don't want them to know that. Sorry, it sounded better in my head. <laughs> After you do this, he kind of he kind of looks at you and says, "Uh, what the hell was that?" <laughs> My attempt at a song. He kind of please puts, don't do that again. He puts his guitar away and says, "My name's Archer Fling. I'm a." I'm you a can bard. tell why I'm an adventurer. <laughs> yeah. He goes, "My name is Archer Fling. I'm a bard." He goes, "Uh, what brings you to the capital city?" Um, adventure. I could tell. He kind of looks you up and down. Uh, the blonde-haired woman kind of pipes in, and she says, um, "She says, uh, well, why are you headed to the capital?" And then Archer kind of. Oh, there's two archers. Uh, Mister Mister Fling kind of looks at you and says, uh, "Because I'm going to sell my songs and make a fortune. The capital city is has, from what I can tell, no musicians." And then he kind of goes back to playing his guitar. Oh, I wish you luck. As you guys are traveling, a couple hours pass. Um, Vaughn, it's not that hot out, so you it's not it's a pretty easy time just walking alongside the carriage. You don't really get tired. But damn right. But about after an hour, you guys. Um, speaking of which, speaking of which, yes. Logan. Um, since um, we leveled up and everything, I'm level 8 and everything, I decided to pick up the skill Observant. Okay. So I increased my passive perception by 5. 
Also, I can oh, read we get a lips. feet if we want. Okay, good to know. I, I can read lips. Um, like if um uh, my passive perception is high enough to see it, and if I if if I do have to make a perception check, and I'm trying to read their if I'm trying <clears> to hear <throat> the conversation, and if I can't hear it, I can still try to read their lips and get a general gist of it. Okay. Uh, what's the total for your passive perception? Let's see. Um. See, it's uh, five plus four is nine plus eight, right? Yeah, so, so 17. 17. Okay, yep. good to know. So, yes. Hmm. I get a plus one every time I level up for my constitution, but I don't know if I took it for my past couple levels. Can I just wing it and say I I'll... get two more health points? I'll allow it. It's only two okay. health points. Because I'm not... not sure how much I missed. I know I did it a couple times in the beginning, but I probably forgot for at least like two levels. Okay. Yeah. I just but, didn't want to do it and then like Yeah. You guys eventually yeah. it becomes midday and you feel the caravan kinda of slow to a stop and you hear Archer Monlo from the front <clears throat> kinda of say, We've arrived at the Diamond Fields and you see some of the passengers disembark and uh Vaughn you can see before you, it's just this vast field that stretches out ahead of you. There's no trees. In the distance, you can kind of see mountains, but they're way far off. And the All grass right. the grass itself, you're standing next to it. The grass comes up to about your uh, shoulder. So only your head peeks out. At, um, standing at nine feet? God. Oh, you're nine feet. So it, to you, it's about... To you, it is about, uh roughly your midsection so okay so about nine, five feet it's about five feet yeah okay so it's it's like maybe just below your hips since you're nine feet but for oh, the rest Jesus. of you it's about to your shoulders uh the rest of the party kind of uh, the rest of the passengers kind of disembark and they kind of look around and then after a few minutes, they get back in the wagon and you guys pick up along the trail. <sighs> he cut, uh, As you go, the, um, the poorly looking elf says, uh, Is anyone hungry? I can fix some of a meal. I'll eat. Okay. Fran, what about you? I can definitely Wait. eat. Sorry about that. Okay, you're good. And then... <laughs> He kind of goes and he... Does Long want anything to eat? Nah, Long says he's not hungry, so I'll just... Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was just checking. I can't forget about our nah, buddy. Nah, he, he, he's all good. It's all good. What happens if he eats something? It doesn't I, I, do anything My assumption, him. yeah, it doesn't do it. It's not helpful to him at all, and he just probably just sits Can and starts rotting in his stomach. No, I mean, not, not on purpose. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes stuff falls out of there. Okay. It's uh, not wrong. The portly looking elf says, uh, my name is Rupert, Rupert Gring. I'm the, I'm the cook they hired for this journey. I've traveled it a few times now. It's, <clears throat> I've had some hairy adventures, but, uh, it's a typically a peaceful journey through the What's the most field. exciting <laughs> adventure you've had? Well, once when we went through the tall woods, I saw a deer the size of an elephant. That is very eventful. He goes, I have a strong feeling we might have something else way dangerous happening. Just, <laughs> that just, uh, you kind of see his face. Things kinda... do, just when we, I, I, I probably should have said this, but when whatever we're around, you know, things kind of go to hell. <laughs> he kind of looks at you and says, uh, "That's not very comforting." Yeah, that's all right. We, we're pretty good. I can cast by fireballs, so. Hey, we're already <laughs> good. Man. That's on okay. Mighty. You can keep the change. <laughs> that's on Miney's resume. I can cast five fireballs. <laughs> right. Uh, that's my next yeah, I can job. Cast can fireballs. Put, oh, yeah, I can cast five fireballs. <laughs> well, dude. <laughs> He kind of goes back to preparing. He's he pulls out a little, little pack a little pack of food from his rucksack. It looks like fresh fruits and stuff, and he makes a little tray of it and he hands it to you guys. And he says, "Dig <clears> in, <throat> it's for everybody." And you see everybody kind of, all the passengers kind of picking at it, and eating and stuff like that. Um, you do notice that one of the the human gentlemen isn't really eating. He's kind of just looking at a book and he's just flipping through pages. But uh, you guys Jesus. continue on through the fields. Eventually, night starts to come on. The caravan pulls off to the side of the road, 
and you guys start setting up your camp for the evening, setting up bed rolls and tents. Uh, the cook starts actually making a full-fledged meal. He pulls out a pot, uh, puts what looks like some stew in there, and starts serving it to everybody after a few minutes. All right. I, eat it, I eat mine aggressively. <clears throat> okay. Um, he kind of looks at you and smiles and says, I'm glad you enjoyed it. My character it. hasn't eaten since like the beginning of this campaign, so he's really hungry. Snakes can go a while <laughs> without eating. Man, these puffins weren't really filling anybody up yet. <laughs> enough, but they kept us alive. Of course. <laughs> uh, okay, food and water. The food's not even supposed to be that good, honestly, if you read the which description. Is why, which is why we sleep through it. Exactly. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> As you guys finish your meal, uh, at the, right. everybody starts retiring to their bedrolls. Uh, the, the family, which is Archer's family, the Monlo family, they retire into the caravan and uh... I just got water on my fucking paper, dude. It's just a small little speck, but still, fuck. Sorry. Before he goes, though, Archer kind of approaches you and says, um... Who's taking the first watch? Um... I, he kind of says, I don't expect anything, but you guys are supposed to protect us, so... Who has the best per I'll perception? I'll take the first watch. I'll take the first watch. Yeah, I was gonna say, whoever has okay. the best perception there should are, take the first watch. There are three watches. Early evening, middle of the night, and early morning. So I'll the first one. Again, um, if there's anything that's higher than my uh, passive perception, you want me to make a perception check? Well, no. Could Javon's? The Go question. Could... <clears throat> if Javon takes watch, could Long uh, um, do a perception check too? Uh, I think he could. Yes. Yeah, I think he has perce passive perception. Let me double check real quick. But the way the the way the night watch yeah, is, you, you make a perception roll. You can use your passive perception if you'd like, but you can also make a, a perception roll if you if you think you'd do better that way. You would. Yeah, you okay. always would, probably. Actually, I take that back. You could roll low, but still, you probably always would. Okay, so, Vaughn, go ahead and give me a perception check. The... That's... Uh, 22. 22? Yeah. You kind of sit back up against the caravan and you look up and you can see the whole sky is full of stars. Um, you turn your attention back to the field, scanning it for any disturbance. Even at your sitting height, you can still see a little bit over the, the head, the um, grass. You don't see anything in the distance and you don't hear anything. And after a while, your watch goes by successfully. Who's taking the second watch? I'll take the second watch. Okay, give me a give me a perception check. <laughs> um, before I go to sleep and everything, I cast Guardian of Fate. Okay. And he just hovers above Javon. He's going to be active for the next eight hours while I sleep. Okay. Uh, I got a thirteen. With a thirteen. Do you need me to roll for long go ahead, as well? Go ahead and roll for long. And Long got a 9. A 9. Okay. Well, with a 13, you can't really see. You, you kind of keep guard pretty well. You scan the field. You get distracted every now and then by strange like birds chirping and insects on the ground. But after a while, your watch goes by successfully. So, Igneal, I need you to give me the last perception check. Logan, real quick, um, yes. uh -huh. can I say that during my watch, during my downtime, uh, can I have tried to see if I can speak to the spirit inside my scythe again? Have I heard anything from him? Of God, course. fuck. So, during fuck your watch... You, mine. I'm not talking about that. Oh, okay. During your watch, you pull up the scythe, and you kind of, you focus in on it, and <clears throat> in your head, you're, you know, like, hello, is anyone there? It's kind of quiet for a little bit, but after a few minutes, you hear an audible sigh... And you hear a gravelly voice say, yes, I'm here. Oh, so you can talk. He goes, yes, I can talk. I Whisper just... sweets, nothing to him. He goes, I just haven't been vocalizing lately. I've been trapped with that dragon who, for the most part, was pretty good company for a roughly a hundred years now. She's hot, isn't she? 
You can't uh, hear it. So I mean, <clears throat> no, because I'm you, sleeping. Yeah. What, uh, what what happened to you exactly? How did you come to be stuck in the scythe? Because I was an adventurer like you, and I went to. I was an adventurer like I you. Went, I went to fight the dragon, and she bested me in combat. Before I died, I put my soul into my scythe as a last ditch effort to remain alive. I unfortunately was captured by the dragon, and she's kept me as sort of a, a pet slash prize for the last century. Hmm. Well, um, not to not not to be a dick, but it's kind of my prize now. He goes, and that's why I wasn't talking. I'm not. Hmm. Sh I don't know anything about you. You're just some other adventurer who scooped me up, and now I have to. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy to be out in the world again. But I don't know anything about you. Well, let's work together in this. I will not lose you, damage you, or uh, leave you behind. And you just continue to uh, keep me company and keep me alive. Because I can do that. I'm a fairly powerful weapon. I can feel it. I feel it. And just remember, I traded you for a, a flaming uh, dagger. So I'm expecting a lot out of you. Because I won't disappoint. All right. I, I kiss it. I kiss it lightly. Can I use them sometimes, Javon? Please. <laughs> I, I I'll give you a dollar. I sense Miney looking, like peeking out of his sleeping bag at me, and I kiss it. I just kiss it more. He kind of says, please don't do that. I just kind of like wiggle my tongue around, you know, my little snake tongue. I'm like, little. <laughs> <laughs> i always take care of you. <laughs> this poor sight. <laughs> well, I guess uh, my last question is, is, is this two questions, two part questions. One, is there a way to take you out of the <clears throat> scythe? And two, would you want your soul, I guess, to finally rest at some point? He says, I'm not sure if there's any way to get my soul out of the scythe. I would assume there is. And he goes, but I'm not interested in leaving. I live for battle. I've been stuck doing nothing for a hundred years. I, I want to get out there and fight. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll definitely help you kill stuff. Enemies, innocents, anything you want. Just you name it. That moment where I'm <laughs> glad you didn't ask if the scythe had a fat ass. <laughs> fat ass. Do, do, uh, I got, do you have any family? I guess. Would you? Did, did, do you need me to send them a letter or anything like that? He goes, <laughs> I was raised in an orphanage. I never took a wife. Oh, okay. I have no children. Oh, well. That's kind of sad. All right, well, I'll be your family now. Uh, over there is Igneo. Um, I'm your my brother daddy Long. now. He hasn't talked too much. I don't remember which one of Manny's people has stayed behind, but that's him over there. Vaughn um, stayed Vaughn. behind. Vaughn's there. Okay, yeah, Vaughn around. Okay, Vaughn's over there. He's he's quirky, but he feeds us, so it's pretty cool. And uh, I'm Rand, and uh, we'll get to know each other pretty well. So I'll just say for the rest of uh, my night, we... I'll keep him watch. We're just getting to know each other. Okay. He says, well, since you've introduced yourself, my name is Scorn. Scorn. All right. S-C-O-R-N. Scorn. All right, then, uh, Scorn. <clears throat> gotcha. Scorn the Scythe. Gotcha. Okay. So, you eventually, your watch comes to an end. And, uh, Igneal, I need you to give me a perception check. A five. My man. Okay. Dude, I always roll low, dude. Whenever it comes to, like, I can performance check a fucking 19, but when it comes to something actually serious, I get a fucking 5, dude. He, he can charm a fucking I swear a, a, a battle God. champion. Okay. Right? <laughs> first fight, but he can't see shit at night time. <laughs> and I have dark vision, so. <laughs> Mighty fell right back to sleep. I got distracted by something. Maybe your scythe. Yeah, you... <laughs> He saw, you, it was just staring at the site the whole entire time. As, yes, as you post it, I want to touch it. You see Rand crawling. I want to kill things with it. Holding the scythe, <laughs> and all you can think about is, "Damn it, I want that." Damn but want your watch. A few minutes into your watch, in the distance, you hear a very faint howl, very very faint, maybe a couple miles off. Yeah, basically. Can I like investigate that. it? Make an investigation check. Or, make it still active. Yeah, the guardian's still active, but make a make another perception check. I um, I just um, scale the tree, the closest tree that there looks like no it trees. might be easy. Oh, fuck. It's um, field. <laughs> well, that's good. Unless you can see stuff. I climb on top of the uh, wagon to okay. get a uh, height advantage to see if I can see better. 
that that will work. Give me another perception check. Okay. An eighteen. Okay, you climb up and you look in the direction of the howl. The moon is out in full, so the field is completely illuminated. But you don't. Werewolves. You don't see anything. But you do hear I again. I think werewolves. You hear the same faint howl in the distance. And when have I hear, heard a werewolf howl before? Um, Maybe. I don't think no. you have. You've met a were tiger, but you have uh, not met a werewolf. Did it sound similar? It's, I don't think it did. It sounds just mm -hmm. like a howl. It's but mm -hmm. the thing is, when you hear it, okay. the hair on your arm stands up. It almost gives um, you. It gives you this fight or flight reaction. I I take my uh um. What do I have as a weapon? I have a sword, right? Uh, I have my rapier. I kind of just tap it on the side of the bottom of the wa or like the wagon on the roof of the wagon. I go, wake up, guys! I think there might be something coming. Okay, you wake everybody up. Uh, the. You see them, the other passengers, they're not really armed, and they kind of scurry into the wagons while the rest of you are awoken. Do we have anything to help maybe protect the, the wagoners? Uh, the people in the wagon? I'm asking Manny or Jabon, uh, oh, maybe. I'm sorry, what was oh, your question? Like, do we have a way to keep them protected? Like, maybe hide them or something? Hide um, the people around us? Uh, let me check what I got on my list of spells. I don't have any spells. Mine are mostly offensive, except for, like, Prestigitation and Mage Hand are my only utility. Let's see. And I could cast Death Ward on one Could I cast invisibility, invisibility on the whole wagon? <laughs> would that make everyone inside invisible, it would or would it only the make the wagon? wagon? How many um, people are there with us? In this? There's nine total. The leader okay, well, and his family, help. and then... Mm -hmm. Six uh, random people. Would you There's consider nine. them? Would you consider them medium or small people? Uh, everybody's, everybody's medium. Yeah. I can go ahead and do rope trick, and I can hide at least eight people if somebody else can. Doing what? Rope trick. What does that do? Oh, I know. Uh, rope doing. trick. You, you touch a length of rope a... up to sixty feet long, and it stands up straight at the box. top of the rope. Opens an extra dimensional space that can fit up to eight medium or small creatures. The rope yeah. can be pulled into the space to hide it as well. Attacks and spells it, cannot pass through the It's a different energy. dimension. Yeah. In the last an hour. <clears throat> you could do that, and then I could cast invisibility on one of them, whoever yeah. wants to YOLO it. I can do that. Okay. It's just an, it's uh, just we kind of just of... explain our idea to them to kind of help yeah. keep people protected. They it's kind of, of, they all yeah. nod in agreement, and... Javon, I could still cast Fireball, right? It's not because invisibility is a concentration, but Fireball is not, right? Fireball is yeah. not a concentration, okay, so you can, cool. you can still cast it. So right, I'll be limited on my spells. But Javon, right. you cast a spell. Uh, the I one blonde hair woman volunteers to stay out. She's she's not armed, but she looks like she's, but she's look, capable. She looks more capable than the others. All so right. she'll she'll okay. be the one who's invisible. I'll tell them to go ahead and pull uh, up the rope and don't let it back down until uh, we give them the clear. I give her a, um, I just have a random long sword that I have. I just go ahead and give that to her. I say, don't attack unless things go super sideways. I'm going to cast, I'm going to make you invisible so you can just hide and be safe. I explain okay. that to her. Okay. And I cast invisibility on her. Just one second, I'm looking something up. You're good. Very fade is still active. Above the camp. What's uh Loading. still active? Guarding the faith. Uh what does it's, that do uh, anyway? Basically when enemies get within the range of guarding the faith, it causes um it causes damage to them. They have to make a dexterity save or or take about or take uh twenty damage. If they they succeed they take half of it. Okay. Uh you guys cast a spell. They all scurry up into the rope trick. Uh, Miney, or Igneal, you cast your spell and the woman vanishes. And as you do that, you can hear the howl again and it's much closer now. You guys <clears throat> kind of post up behind the caravans, kind of in defensive positions. Uh, the woman kind of, you can hear her climbing into the caravan itself. Uh, the fire kind of starts to go out. I thought of it. They could probably fucking smell her, dude. Fuck. Oh well. Eh, you don't know. I don't know. See, I've heard that they, counts. 
the fire starts to kind of burn itself out and is reduced to embers. The only light coming off is Guardian the Faith. And you're all bathed in moonlight. As the right. as everything kind of falls quiet, you can see that the the grass start to kind of shake. And you see something kind of poke its head out and then quickly pull back into the grass. And then it kind of... Could I see what it was? Make a perception check. You have dark vision, make... so... Yeah, anybody uh, who wants to make a perception check... I make it. I make it with disadvantage. Right? I don't have dark vision, so yeah, if you don't have dark vision, anyway. if you don't have dark vision, it's with disadvantage. That's crazy. Usually, like <laughs> most of us play races that have dark vision, like that's funny that well, like I'm the only one that has it this time. Yeah, I got a six human. by the way. I can't see shit. I'm okay. normal. <laughs> I will not roll. Logan? I'm just gonna go ahead Say and. Say again, uh, Manny. Anything with twelve, Logan? Uh, what did you get, Javon? I'm not gonna roll. I'm just gonna have me and um long ready our weapons okay with the six and a 12 uh igniel you see it but it, you aren't looking in the right spot so as you kind of glance over it always it pulls itself back in the grass too quickly but vaughn you see it stick its head out it has these large bright red eyes a mouth just full of jagged broken teeth and this weird kind of Can reddish I, pink sack under it? its chin uh how it's not within it? the radius exactly. of the guardian yet it's just at the no, edge. No, 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 no. How, how many feet if I was the guesstimate? Oh. Um, maybe like 30 feet away? Guiding bolt. Okay, go ahead and make your attack roll. And that's uh, 18 plus 7. Can that's I follow? S- well. Okay, I was say, can hits. I follow suit of where Manny's spell lands? Um, forgot how much damage Guiding Bolt does. Give me a sec. Uh, while that's happening, I need everybody else to roll initiative. Yeah. Did you hear my question, Logan? Yes. Um, you didn't see it clearly enough. So no, I was cool just wondering if I could cast a fireball where look, Manny's uh, cool. lightning cool. bolt cool thing, landed. Cool thing too, Manny. Sure. Um, next attack has advantage. <laughs> right. Um, since it hit him. Yeah, but my fireball doesn't roll the hit. It's, it's a yeah, it's a save. dexterity save. Oh, I understand. I understand. I need to pick another spell too, fuck. Getting bolt. A long roll of 19, and I rolled a 15. Alright, so. I roll. 4d6. I really wish I would have done my level up, dude, fuck. I'm trying to decide if I. Uh, uh, no, I'll, I'll save it. I think I should have went with freaking what? Uh, War Mage. I think it's War Mage. Was that what it's called? War Mage uh, is pretty good. Warcaster, yeah. what do you mean? Warcaster, yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. I think I should have went with that instead of I think I'm I'm probably going with that That's next. I, I don't know. I got Sentinel yeah. right now, and I'm probably gonna go with something for spell casting next. Yeah. Because uh, I mean I can pick one now. I just have to I... look at the feats and decide what I want. Because mm. I picked Sentinel. Sentinel's really good. Like if an enemy's near me and I, oh. um, and they try to run from me, I can like I think I can hit them mm. and then like it makes their movement zero so they can't run. All it's right, like really it. useful. Eighteen points of radiant damage. Okay. Oh, I added a one there. So, what's your, um, your, your initiative, Manny? My initiative? Oh, shit. Uh, I'll roll that real quick. And that's a one. <laughs> okay, so, any pluses to it, or just one? A natural one is a natural one. You don't add anything to it unless, um, everybody else rolls a natural one. Okay, so you're... Got it. You went one. Yeah. Oh, initiative. Sorry, I was paying attention. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna switch oh, dice now. My man. Yeah, I'll switch dice now, cause wowie. Uh, so my dexterity modifier is. God damn it. Uh, I think it's two. <sighs> no, it's a one. So I got a twenty-one, Logan. Okay. So starting off in the top of the round, you see Vaughn hold out his hand and guiding a bright white light shoots out and you hear it hit the creature which kind of ducks back into the field. Uh, you lose sight of it, but you get you get an idea that it hasn't moved too far. So it's your turn. Actually, what are you doing? Yes? actually you, you, even though he it, it dived in, you can still see the dim glittering light. Yes, that's true. It. Guiding Bolt has a light. So you can see its outline through the grass. Is there more than one of them? Or? Um, 
You've only seen one so far. Okay. And cool thing, I just realized Guiding Bolt has a range of 120 feet. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, it's got a really good range. So, Igneo, what are you doing? Um, am I close enough to do anything to it? It's only about 30 feet away. Oh, it's only 30 feet away? Um. Sorry, I got people being loud. Um. I am going to. Probably cast a fireball. Okay. You outstretch your that's hand. That's probably the easiest thing to do. And that little ball of red energy kind of appears at your fingertip. You release it, it flies, and a loud explosion breaks the silence around you. As the creatures, you see the creature get tossed into the air and land back in the field. And some of the grass has been completely singed and destroyed. So now you can see the creature pretty well. Uh, it rolled a natural one, so it fails its uh, save, so it takes full damage. All right. Let me roll for my sorcery shit, and I got a 20, so I'm good on that. Um, I gotta look at fireball spell. I forgot how many dice it is. Uh, I think it's eight. Six. Yeah, okay, so eight D6. Where's one more dice? Okay. Twelve, fifteen, sixteen. Twenty five seven. Twenty nine damage. Logan? Hold on, sorry, I'm just doing the math on my calculator. You're good. Damn it, I keep clicking the wrong thing. Okay. The fireball goes off, illuminating the night. Uh, the grass oh, yeah, is burned and singed. Oh, and you can see the creature kind of lying there. It looks like it took the brunt of the explosion and kind of just shakes it off. And then it kind of glares at you guys. Uh, but that's the end. Of it. Unless you have any movement you want to do, um, you can climb gonna, inside the Who's caravan. the closest? Who's the closest to the monster besides me? Uh, you guys are all kind of posted up in a line behind the caravan. So um, I'd say you guys are all you all relatively close to it. Who has the lower of the health, Manny or Javon? I'm a fucking tank, man. And Javon. You have lower health, right? I think Javon has lower health. I'm gonna use my bonus action to cast us my Stone Ages on Javon. Okay, that's the end of your and that's turn. That's the end of my turn. Okay, uh, it's Long's turn. My bad, dude. My thing was muted this entire fucking time. I have like 85 health, so I don't know. Oh goddamn! You guys are both fucking. We have, I guess I have way more health than I do, fuck. <laughs> I have 48 health. <laughs> yeah, nigga. How, how do you have only 48? I have 87. Dude, I'm a sorcerer, dude. They're, I, have they plus, are very I only have 6 plus my constitution. Oh. Gotcha, gotcha. And I, luckily I get a plus 1 because of my uh, subclass or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Subclass. You might want to pick up You might want to pick up the um, feet for Bro, you might want to drink some milk. That doubles your constitution. <laughs> Can I drink milk every day? Would that increase my constitution, Logan? If you're not lactose intolerant. Roll to see lactose intolerant. Roll to get diarrhea. Have I never drank mil milk in my life? Do I know if I'm lactose intolerant? Well, you're a snake, people, so you were never breastfed, so you, I don't know if you That is true. Milk. That is true. <laughs> you probably um, eat eggs. You eat, like, yolk. That is also true. Yeah, that's the end uh, of my turn, but I, I cast Stone Ages on okay. Javon. Since he's got that safety, he probably wants to hit things with it. I wanna fuck things with this. Um, all right. How many enemies were there? Logan? Just one. One that Just you can one. see. How far would you say we are? Thirty feet away. Thirty feet away. So we're behind the the caravan. Yeah, you guys have taken up defensive positions behind the caravan. So will this count towards me having to run around the caravan as my for movement sake? Uh, it's you guys are up again. You don't have to run around it. It's still a straight shot. 
Okay, gotcha. Thank you, good sir. All right, um, Jamal, you have a yes, badge sir. on the guy that's glowy. I'm still standing on the caravan, by the way. So, so hey, you're uh, up top. And is, is that the one that's just, just guy with the fireball? Yes. There, so far, you can only see one. No problem. All right, Long is gonna go ahead. He can move 30 feet, so he's gonna go ahead and run up on him. Um, let me go ahead and mark that on my paper so I can keep this in mind. Uh, backed out. And he's gonna go ahead and pull out his great axe and go ahead and attack. Okay, make an attack roll. You got this long. With Don't advantage. Oh. Because of uh, Manny's uh, guiding bolt. Uh, 18. 18 will hit. Go ahead and roll damage. All right. All right. And, and it, is... as soon as you deal the damage, um, guiding bolt's light fades. 1d12 plus 2. Is your axe magical by any chance? This was the great axe that you gave me the uh, plus 2. Okay, it's magical. Yeah. Um, so I got... Oh, so seven. it takes reduced damage. Got it. From physical attacks, it seems. Yeah. So 7. 7? So reduce that, I don't know. Three, I guess. You know what's a huge plus about d d is we don't know what we're fighting half the time, because I haven't played enough to know what the creatures are. Because it doesn't sound like what... a werewolf from what he described. Okay. You, you, oh, heard, you, you heard a howl, but then from what Logan said, it doesn't really sound like it's a werewolf. Yeah, it has like a sack on its neck or something. Okay. Is that is the answer wrong? It's a werefrog. Um, I mean, I don't think he can do anything else. As a bonus attack, he's gonna, he's, as a bonus action, he's going to turn around and he's going to shrug at me like, oh. And then that's it. <laughs> okay. You could probably give him like daggers or darts or something. Probably. Well, I don't know. One, As a range, that one thing that I suggested to you earlier. What was okay. that? Turn it. Uh, decide that he's a hollow one or something like that. That is true. Okay. Uh, is so it is now the creature's turn. You watch as it kind of shakes off the attack. It's going to run around long, so long is an attack of opportunity. Okay. And that is the same thing, roll, roll, roll to attack? Roll to attack, but no advantage. Gotcha, gotcha. Let me pull out these dice sometime. I have to click on this app. And he got a 17. That'll hit. Alright. So I'm going to attack again, 1d12. Click 12. That time he got an 11 plus 2, 13. Okay. The creature kind of shrugs off your attack and it runs to the side. It kind of angles itself, so it's looking at all of you in a straight line except for long. You see the sack on its chin kind of expand, and then it just lets out this ear-piercing howl, and I need everybody to make a wisdom saving throw. Except for long. All right. I got a 10. Twenty-two. Okay. I, yeah, I, I need to freaking add some more points to my second wisdom, dude. So, Javon failed. Manny succeeded. Uh, you know, you're the only one left. Uh, I failed. What'd you get? A two. A two? Okay, you failed too. Oh, he definitely made it. <laughs> so, the howl, you hear the howl, and it kind of shakes your brain. Uh, everybody but Vaughn, you guys are now frightened and incapacitated. So, you can, your speed is halved. Incapacitated? Incapacitated. Ooh. Your speed is halved. They're knocked you, out, you know. Basically, they're knocked out, yes. Yeah. But, Vaughn, you're fine. And that's Wait, we're knocked out? Yeah, you guys are immediately knocked out. You have to make a saving throw on your, on your turn. No, you wait, no, you're incapacitated. You're asleep. That's right. Um, you're basically, um you're, does that mean my invisibility spell? Uh, you're basically stunned. But uh, yes, I'm you're, not sure if your spell would wear off. Yeah, it would. And you're also, with that, uh, did you make that NPC make it? Uh, yes, I made. She made it too. Okay. So she's out. She right. failed as well. Would you call? Who's in my? Oh wait, never mind. I was gonna ask. 
I think people are around me. I mean, um, me, me, mine in. Me everybody, mine in feet radius. I'd say everybody's around you except for Long, but Long wasn't affected by the howl. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Okay. Uh, okay. That's but the Logan, the, the, yes. the howl wasn't wasn't a spell, right? Which is the howl. It's not a spell. Yeah, I can't do shit about that. All right. Okay, that's the end of its turn. Ran, it is your turn. You are incapacitated, so according to what it says here, your speed is halved, and you can't take any actions or react or uh, bonus actions. So, what would you like to do? I guess use my movement action to, to get up, right? Well, you're not you're not on the ground. You're still standing. You're basically stunned, but you can still move. Oh, mm. stunned. Um, I, I thought you were saying incapacitated. Like yeah, I thought you were saying down. incapacitated. Yeah, it's, but, it says incapacitated. But I think it meant stunned because it says your yep, movement speed. She's is not half. visible anymore. Being inca incapacitated or killed, you lose concentration on a spell. Okay, if so you she's are no incapacitated or, die, or if you die, yeah. Um, all right. um, I'm glad I gave her that sword. He said I can't. I can't use any action or bonus action. No, but your your speed is is half, so you can still move just half your normal speed. How close is it to us? Uh, it ran around to the side. So it's about, it's still about 30 feet. It just ran in a, a circle. Okay, so we're not gotcha. knocked out, though, right? No, you're stunned. not knocked out. Okay, just stunned. Sure, sure. It um, says incapacitated, I... but I think they meant stunned. I can't use an action, goddammit. Um, well, if I wanted to try and do an investigation check, would that count as an action? Um, if I can see if what I are you see... trying to investigate? If I, from what I can see of the creature, is it something that maybe I've seen before? Give us a better idea. I'll apparently... Make a history check. History? Dang it. The thing is, like, you probably wouldn't be able to say anything if you were to try to say Oh, yeah. Like, I definitely can't, can't say shit right now, but if I, if I do come to, uh, if I you got can't... 14. Can you not speak, then? What? It doesn't say you, you can't what? speak. Oh, shit. It just says... Oh, okay. So, yeah, I got a 14. A 14? Um, the creature you're looking at doesn't seem natural. Mm. Mm. You get the idea that it's not from the material plane. It might be from another okay. plane of existence. Okay. You get the idea that it's some kind of fiend. It's definitely not natural. Some kind of, some kind of fiend. Oh. I... But, uh, I was going to say, I want to remind you, don't maybe not cast your demon spell because uh, we, we don't have everyone capable of getting in a circle right now i think so <laughs> sorry for metagaming but that's fine oh i mean i guess I to also know game demon. don't tell me i live my life you ever think about that money huh i do what i want <laughs> right, if i want, if you, I want, want. you guys if okay. i want you guys dead i want you guys dead that's the end of rand's turn it is now vaughn's turn so manny what would you like to do all right um okay quickly enough I'm the only one actively awake, right? Um, uh, yes. I will cast on uh, Spiritual Guardians. It's centered on me. Okay. Um, if they're in everybody radius, that kind of thing. Special thing about Spiritual Guardians. What was it? Uh, enemies start their turn. Where is it? Here we go, Spirit Guardians. Let's see, uh, when you cast a spell, you can designate any number of creatures you can see to be unaffected by it. A, an affected creature's speed is halved in the area, and when the creature enters the area for the first time on, on a turn or starts its turn there, it must make a wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, the creature takes 3d8 radiant damage. If you are good or neutral... Or 3d8 uh, necrotic damage if you are evil. And I'm good. So, um, radiant damage. Okay. Uh, you... successful save, it takes half of that. Okay. You cast and a spell. And I'm going to cast it. I'm going to cast it at level 4. Okay. You rip your holy symbol. You mutter the incantation. And everybody, everybody can see they're not completely incapacitated you guys can see s kind of phasing into existence these swirling guardians that kind of encompass all of you the creature kind of sees the, this go ahead they take the shape of um pixie dragons okay you see the creature kind of recoil and back up
But it just it kind of squinches out the stairs. He's within the radius since he like came over there to get closer, right? He's not in the radius yet. He's still thirty feet away. He just ran around to get you guys in a straight line. But then yeah, he, 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 I thought he ran past Javon. I thought he did. He ran past Long. He ran past Long. Oh, so he, he just okay. pretty much ignored ignored Long and just um, went went around to a different angle. Is it possible that I've actually moved closer and actually have actually done that instead? If you'd like, like to, I you was, have you can do that. I was, I was trying to get in, I was trying to get him into my radius when I was doing that. You can you can easily move into range. So, I entirely misunderstood what you were saying when you were saying that. Okay, so he makes a what kind of save? Um, he does that on his on his turn oh, okay. when he starts. Okay. Um, what can I do for a bonus action? Because I think that was a uh, action. Uh, bonus action. I think I can do uh, toll the dead. Toll the dead. Okay, go ahead. Is it a saving throw? It's a wisdom save. Wisdom, wisdom save. save. That is a 15. 15. He succeeds, so he doesn't take any effect from it. Okay. All right. So you cast the spell. You see the creature kind of shake its head and then just kind of squint its eyes and glare at you. Uh, that's the end of your turn. Uh, Igneal, it is now your turn, but you are still incapacitated. So you can take a movement action, but your movement is halved, and you can make an investigation check if you'd like to determine what the creature is. You there, Mighty? Oh, what? I wasn't listening. I'm sorry. It's your turn. Oh. You're still incapacitated, however. All you can do is move. So I can... I can what? It's it's You're still incapacitated, so all you can do is your movement, which is half speed. Uh, so I can't even uh, cast spells? Uh, not, not currently, no. Is there anything I can do to try and get rid of being incapacitated? Okay, let me check. Like, tap on my legs and tell them to wake up. I didn't think about that. I don't. I, I just assumed. I don't. How long does uh, being, I guess, incapacitated last? So well, according to this, it, this only lasts until the creatures, the end of the creature's next turn. There is okay. no saving throw you can make. If you fail so, the first time, you're stuck until its end of its turn. So, so what? What can I do while being inca incapacitated? Um, you can move half your movement speed, and you can make an investigation check to try to determine what this creature is, or a history mm. check. Um, leave it alone. Thank you. I'll just invest in a history check it then. A history check. Because I can't do anything else, so. Is it Satan? <clears throat> I bet it's Satan. Might be Satan. A 20? Nat 20? A nat 20. Um, through a little bit of research you've done in the past, you recognize this creature to be a howler. Mostly from killing things. Mostly from killing things. But you recognize this to be a howler? You've seen some in Venom Fang's fighting pit. They're pretty formidable, and their howl can their howl can cause people to be frightened or incapacitated. Do I know if I could like maybe cut their throat or like their little sacky thing if it would stop them from being able to howl? You're not sure. All right. Um, am I am I able to speak? Uh, I'll say you can speak. I kind of relay to the group what we're fighting. I let them know it's a howler thing. I've seen them fight in Venom thing, and they're pretty dangerous. I don't know what's the best way to kill them, but I'm thinking if we maybe try and go for their neck, it might do something, but it might not. So, just a thought. Okay. That's the end of my turn. I'm not That's moving. I'm turn? staying on this uh, caravan. It is now long Unless term. Javon would like me to get closer to him. To me? Yeah. Um, I mean, your choice. I didn't know if you want to cast your demon thing. I mean, I could try and grab that chick and pull her out into oh, no, our little yet. make a circle. Okay. It's okay. I'm still deciding which which of the two I want to cast first. Okay. Um, That's long. in my turn. So, uh, and it looks like uh, it, take, it takes, what, half damage on magic um, on magical weapons or just magic attacks? No, it takes half damage on physical attacks. So on magic attacks... attacks. Do magic attacks and magic weapons do more damage? Like you're not do normal damage, not more. But got you, got you, got you. Okay, well then, Long <laughs> is going to do what he's good at and run over there with his great axe, pissed off now, and try to um, <clears throat> hit the howler. Okay, make an attack roll. All right, all right. 
He got a oh, is that a, okay. He got a nine. I'm gonna try to do shit. Long kind of sprints over, kicking his axe, and he kind of swings it down towards the creature's head. The creature kind of just ducks to the side as the axe just kind of glances off its thick hide. All right, he wants to have the bonus axe, so I'm gonna kick dirt in his face. Um, okay. I think that's it. Uh, the most I think Long can really do is slice things and slam things. <laughs> okay. It is the Howler's turn. It did not get back its uh, mind-breaking howl. And that has to make a wisdom save. Yeah, it makes a wisdom save. Uh, wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. So that's a 19. 19. Succeeds. Takes half damage. I'm going to have to roll 3d8 real quick. Eight. There's the eight. Alright. Got my three my D eights. Eight damage. I already have to Okay. Okay. Eight points of radiant damage. The creature kind of gets buffeted by these fairy dragons as they just slam into it. Uh, that's, it's still its turn. It kind of runs up to you, uh, Igneal, and it's going to make uh, two bite attacks against you. Did it go by me? Can it reach Rip me it. from on top of oh, the Oh, you're caravan? on top of the thing. It doesn't go for you. I'm sorry. It goes for uh, Ran. Get some, bitch. So it's going to make two attacks. Um, um, the first one is 17. That hits. And the second one is uh, 13. That does not hit. Okay. I'm, use, <clears throat> I'm using my reaction to teleport behind it and stab okay, it in the back. Let me, let me just do the damage first. You're good. Javon, you take 10 points of piercing damage. And you take okay. 17 points of psychic damage. Jesus Christ. And that's just from the first attack? No, that's from one. It, it, the other attack didn't make. Gotcha. Oh, he. Wait, hold on. Let me see what my Stone of Ages does. I think you get a little bit reduced, reduced damage, Javon. Hold on. Um. That's good too. Any bludgeoning, piercing, or slashing damage the target takes is reduced by two plus your sorcerer level divided by four. So. Hold on. Two plus eight divided by four. So would you round up or down on that, Logan? Uh, I'll round down. I mean up. I mean I'll round up. And, does it... and at the end of its turn, it's not stunned. All right, so it reduces it by three damage. I think. It, it, was it piercing, bludgeoning, or slashing, Logan? Okay, yeah. So it reduces the damage you took by uh three points, Javon. So God, you, appreciate it. you take seven points of piercing, and seventeen points of psychic. Gotcha, gotcha. That's the end of its turn. Uh, after that, the rest of you are no longer stunned. All right. Uh, that's the end of its turn. Ran, you're up. Now I'm pissed. Um, um, I'm stabbing him in the back, though, first, Logan. Oh, yeah, you're stabbing in the back. Go ahead. Okay, I gotta roll the hit. I'm gonna roll the hit first. Will a... Um... Wait, do we get a proficiency bonus increase yet? Well, uh, you should. Is there is a still plus three? three? I think this, this time. Yeah. Uh, ooh. yeah, I don't know. I think so. It should Let be plus look. three. If you're doing your when you're doing your d20, you roll a d20. It's your proficiency bonus plus your um, whatever modifier. You're I know, using but I'm just. I want to check the. Okay, we're still. Wait, where is the proficiency bonus? We're still at plus three. Oh, we're still at plus three. Okay, I just wasn't yeah. sure if it had increased yet or not. Um, okay. This is the most I've leveled up in a campaign, so. Um. What? So, a, a 16, does that hit? That'll just hit. Alright. Let me look at Sword of Wounding. All right, so let me roll a d10 and a, I think it's a d8 for the sword. 
think. What? It, it's a long sword to D8, right? Uh, I believe so. I believe okay. so. That's on the wall. Wow, I rolled like the, literally the minimum almost. That's one D8. Um. Six damage, but I inclu I inflicted wounding on it, so at the start of its turn, it takes one d4 necrotic damage. Okay. Uh, oh, by the way, Logan, he got yeah. in the radius of Guardian of Faith, didn't he? Uh, yes. Make a dexterity save. That is a nineteen. Nineteen. He takes ten damage, a radiant damage, ten damage. automatically. Okay. Uh, it is now your turn, Ram. All right, I'm kind of pissed now, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to. I have my scythe of Cramorax. Cramorax. I have that one in my hands. I'm gonna go ahead and expel one charge. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and roll to attack. And I rolled a 16. That hit. That'll just hit. Me. All right. With that, then I'm gonna go ahead and I get. Additional 2d12 extra ice damage. So, with my 12. So. I can't need that scythe. Uh, so, 29 plus 2, so 31. Okay. And then, uh, so yeah, I'll attack him with my, my axe. So I'm going to go ahead and just, with all the fucking force in my body, just swing as hard as I can with this bitch. Um, and as a bonus action, I'm going to go ahead and cast Misty Step. And, uh, I'm going to teleport, uh, 30 feet away. So probably, um, towards Long. And then I'm going to move 10 more feet away from there. Okay. So I'll move a total of 40 feet away. As you take your scythe and you just... You rear back, you see it kind of crystallize with these icicles as you jam it down as hard as you can right into the creature's head. The creature kind of lurches for a bit and kind of goes limp and just kind of slides slowly off the side dead. Then I don't do my bonus action. Um, I like to make yeah. a perception check just to see what's around. Make a perception check. And since I killed it, Logan, I'm going to go ahead and take uh, I, can, I have a feat that comes with being me. That allows 21. me to harvest some, uh, some health points from it. So I get a total of 8 okay. right now. 21. 21. Boom. Not too bad. Um, you you kind of, after the creature falls, you kind of scan the perimeter. You don't hear any rustling. You don't hear any more howls. It seems like this creature may have been an isolated incident. Okay. All right. All right, do, this do, is clear. Do you guys want? Do you guys feel pretty good? Should we uh, let them know to come out? Wait, is yeah. it dead? Yeah, yeah it's, dead, huh? it's the only thing. It's the only thing within radius that I can uh, see. Oh, it's the only thing. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good. All right. I'll go ahead and uh, yell up. I'll, I'll say we came up with a password and I'll yell it up to them so they can lower down the rope and start coming down. Okay, they start to descend. Everybody okay? They kind of, the, uh, you see that the daughter is kind of shaken, but the rest of them seem okay. How's the blonde haired lady doing? She, she got stunned a second ago. She kind of, after the creature di after the creature dies, she kind of shakes it off, and she kind of just leans back in the caravan, kind of, she, she was woken up, she's tired, but she seems alright. Alright, so who uh. needs healing? Um, I didn't get hit. I think Javon does, but I'm good. I got hit. I got. I took uh, extra eight points from um, from the monster. How much health do you have left? I have more than enough. I still have seventy four health. So I mean, I'm pretty good right now. You, you should have to really okay. waste those. So I appreciate it though. Um, I'll just use a um. I'll just no, you can't, cause you're already above half. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm the only person that got hit besides from besides me and Mighty get hit by the fucking howl. Yeah. All right. Um. Then I guess we'll continue. Is it is it day is it morning time? Was that what it was, Logan? 
Uh, Dawn was just approaching. Alright, so I guess. Dude, so did it run off or did it die? It's dead. Well, I killed it. Oh, okay. My scythe. It, it's, if you can look we, at his dead body, there's a nice I'm little. A, I'm gonna pick through it and see if there's anything that's uh, worth taking. Okay, make an investigation check. I'm, I'm checking every orb as slogan. That's disgusting. Keep your fetishes out of my game, Miney. <laughs> An eight. Um, Me and... You don't find any loot. You do find what looks like the remains of a collar. And with an eight, you can't really make out what it says. Me and does it feel magical, the collar? It does not feel magical. It looks like just a Sorry, regular thanks. leather collar. <laughs> I All pocket right. it. I'll save this for later. All right, I sent you guys my um, all my like my characters, my character sheet and everything, um, in the group chat. My boss called me a bit ago. That's why I had to mute my blank. Oh, you gotta go. He, yeah, because apparently we're getting swamped. Okay, I understand. I mean, we can call but, it if you guys want. No, no, don't call it. You guys keep on going. Yeah, but it's hard to play someone else's character because I don't know what I, you would do. That, that, you can do whatever you want. I I already also sent my list. Just choose what 